Do you love breakdowns? Do you need stats? Do you crave insight? Download the All-Star app, UFC, Bellator, PFL1 Championship, and more. Ad-free, fully customizable. Download the best app in the business. Link in descriptions. Cool. And talk about uh, Jones gone and just the, yeah. the dynamics of that, man. There's so many factors, so many variables heading into this fight with Jones and his long layoff and him gaining the weight to become a heavyweight. And then you got gone. Who's like built like Anthony Joshua, right? And so athletic and, and, and probably one of the most athletic we've ever seen in the heavyweight division and a phenomenal striker as well. How, what do you see in this matchup? Yeah, man, same thing. This is, this fight is so intriguing and has so many variables. Once again, like you said, another, another athlete, another fighter going up a weight class. And, and this is obviously a much bigger, difference in weight than the 45 to 55 jump right even though that's significant still this is a much bigger difference in the weight um yeah and 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 when when he's going up it's not like we're talking about he's fighting uh you know someone who's shorter and thicker he's not fighting a chris barnett or like a you know like a mark hunt size person right uh he, he's fighting you know aside from francis one of the most you know, physically gifted guys at that weight class and, and Cyril gone. Um, so, you know, it's going to be really interesting. We have a true natural heavyweight in Cyril against someone coming up to heavyweight. We, we even saw it in Jones's last couple fights. You know, he, it, he didn't appear to be as efficient as he used to be uh, maybe a little bit more labored, a little bit slower. So I'm really interesting to see, you know, and this is going to be the first time he's fought at heavyweight, you know, and first time back in a long time. So we don't know how he's going to carry that weight through five rounds. Um, the one thing that bothers me or worries me a little bit is that we saw Francis take gone down. Um, and, you know, Francis is not known for his wrestling necessarily, right? He is a big explosive athlete as well, too. Um, you know, he, he may have been working on it quite a bit more than we know, but um, I, he's definitely not anywhere near the level that Jones is credentialed at for his wrestling. Um, and, you know, if if he hasn't been making significant strides in that department, um, you know, I can see Jones taking him down relatively easily, um, you know, and kind of having his way on top. But, yeah, we, you know, he's going to have to work through that space first. Gon does a really, really good job of mixing up his strikes, and he's really well-versed on the outside and the inside with his striking weapons, with his offense. Um, but he's got great kicks, great punches, good knees and elbows. Jones is going to have to get through that range to get to the inside, to get, get the takedown. Um, and we'll, it'll be interesting to me to see what the speed difference is on the outside uh, with the striking. Jones in the past, right? He's, he's, he's performed at, at a certain, in a certain way where like he goes in there and he tries to beat his opponents in their strength and mm -hmm. and maybe we might see that in jones right in this fight against gone which you know he's a striker maybe he's going to go in there and try to strike with him and show everybody hey i could go up weight class i could beat one of the best strikers and still win the belt you know like he, you know like even with the with daniel cormier he went in there and took him down right it was like that was something that he wanted to do and show everybody he wants to, he wants to prove a point right and yeah. you mentioned his last couple of performances where his his perform his like the fights weren't like what we we're expecting out of him right and maybe we'll see a new side of him right a new inspired john jones and to me i would love to see that right because that's that's what we want to see we want to see one of the greatest go out there could we see a striking battle do you think like maybe jones might go out there and not even wrestle he might not even clinch man it's definitely a possibility um you know, exactly like you said, you know, he, he, he was known for trying to beat people or, or successfully doing so at their own game. And, and to me, anytime you see that, especially someone as dominant as Jones, that's a sign of their ego, right? Um, you know, and just wanting to be fully dominant over their opponents. In my mind, I wonder as Jones starts to get older now, right? And he's had, he's been in this sport for some time. I wonder if, you know, kind of that, veteran fighter wisdom is going to come out in this fight and say, Hey, look, the path to victory in this fight um, is, is not that it could be maybe, but it, the easier path is for us to use our wrestling, right. And, and make sure it'll work and, and get up off of his back. Um, I could see John coming out and testing the waters a little bit. I feel like that ego, 
for for someone like him who's been such an elite champion is hard to fully like suppress um you know i could see him coming out and testing the waters and if it's not going well then he resorts to his wrestling after that and if he is having his way man he might just keep the fight standing for for 25 minutes and, and try to prove a point um like i said i would hope you know from a coaching perspective that him being a veteran now he recognizes the path to victory and 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 understands that there's a way that this fight can be maybe a little bit easier, you know? Um, but we'll see, man, you know, you know, fighting, fighting is built off of ego, um, you know, and, and people like John thrive in those situations. So um, yeah, man, if I'm surreal, uh, I'm trying to play on that ego a little bit too, and encourage him to strike with me, obviously, because he knows he's going to have his best chance there too, you know? So um, if I'm, if I'm surreal leading up to that fight, uh, I'm talking bad about John's striking ability. You know, I'm pointing out holes in his striking game and I'm hoping that it lights a fire under, under him to, to come out and strike with me and, and, uh, you know, try to give me a better path to victory in the process. 